Okay, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos lately, guys, on truckers trying to find a job with a felony. You know, I've got some experience with this. I mean, I have a past. Everybody has a, a past that they've been through. Um, and the best advice I can give to people that have a felony on their record, if you're looking at getting into trucking, first things first, get the CDL. Go get it. Go take that test, get your permit, then go do the steps to get your CDL. After you get your CDL, work for somebody that's going to hire you locally that you know. I always say, like a company like Budweiser, Miller Lite, uh, a liquor company, are good starts. Um, I'm here in Kansas, you know, Standard Beverage, Glacier, Glacier. Those are good companies that'll start you out with felonies and you'll get some experience with your Class A CDO. Once you get that experience, then you've got a little foot under you. You got your belt. You know, you're not gonna make the best of money at first with it, getting that experience, but it's putting your time in. And then you go and you put your application out there. And when I tell you to put your application out there, I'm telling you to put your application every single carrier that you can find across the internet. I mean, I'm talking Snyder, I'm talking all these mega carriers, all these little carriers, anybody that's willing to pick up the phone and ask you. Now, here's the catch that I've learned, though. You know, put everything out there. Be honest about it. They're going to call you back, and the recruiter's going to call you. The first thing that recruiter's going to do is want to interview you and say, I've got a question for you, and I need this answer before we go any farther. And what I said was, I've got this felony, it's this far back, you know, can you work with me? If you can work with me, let's move forward on this interview. If you cannot work with me, let's not work forward on this interview. And that's how I went about my process. Um, I do work for a mega carrier. I'm not gonna divulge the carrier that I work for at this time, but I work for a mega carrier and I drive kind of local, not really, I'm, I'm OTR, but I'm kind of local. Um, and that's something that I needed because I have young kids and it just fit my life. Now I've done OTR and you know, be honest with you, thinking about going to back up OTR, going out for a couple months at a time and everything because I'm just, I'm ready to get away from home for a while, you know. This was the first time I've tried this and I'm ready to get back out on that road and hit the road some more. So, guys, please hit the like button on this video, share this video, get the word out to people that are having a hard time getting these jobs. They're out there, they will benefit you. Now there is some out there that aren't gonna pay you crap. Do not settle. Again, do not settle for those carriers. They're not worth your time. Do not settle with them. They're just gonna waste your time, waste your money, and you shouldn't be it. If you're getting paid less than $1,000 a week to run for something, for a mega carrier or somebody else like that, they are wasting your time and your money. And that's what I agree, even with a felony. Just because you have a check or pass, that may not who be who you are now. I know I'm not the same person I was when I had that stuff happen to me. So keep your guys head up and remember apply, 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 apply. I think when I did it, I think I applied for probably 100 to 150 carriers and I literally had phone calls for a week straight from 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock at night every day. Boom, boom, boom. And you know, I was getting so many phone calls when I was doing interviews. I was getting phone calls interrupting the interview. Now, don't stop your interview to answer phone calls. That's another thing. Do not stop that interview because you don't ever know. That may not be the best one. And settle on something that works best for you and your family. Know what you need for you and your family. I mean, if you want to be home every week, there's carriers out there that will get you home every week. If you want to be home every other week, there's carriers get you home every week. But make sure they're going to get you to your home and make sure they're going to make you happy. 
if you're not at a carrier that's not making you happy, move on. Simple as that. These jobs are a dime a dozen even with that felony. You just got some carriers that'll work with you, some that won't work with you. But I do not suggest going and just going and getting your own authority and just put yourself out there right out the bag if you do not know what you're doing. Because if you don't don't know what you're doing, then all you're gonna do is fail. And you failed once or something, you're not gonna fail again. It's just that simple, guys. You just need to get the experience under your belt. And then if you wanna go get your own authority and everything, go for it. I mean, I don't know if that's for me yet. We'll see down the road. I'm thinking about it. But, guys, don't forget to hit that like button, share my videos, hit the bell to get some more videos. I'm gonna be putting videos there out a lot more. I'm just, I've been slacking lately and haven't really done any videos. And so I'm trying to get more content out there that I have background in that I'm not seeing it being touched on the YouTube channel. So, again, my name is Lance Guy. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I'll put my email in the comment. I'll also hit put my Facebook in it and feel free to reach out to me. If you have any questions, I'll feel free to answer and I'll put you in touch with carriers that will get you a job if you have a felony, depending on your felony. So, don't feel don't feel like you can't get something because you have it. Feel free to reach out to me and I'll try to do the best I can to help you out. Until next time guys, thanks, have a good day.